Oil and gas sector of Russia faces staffing issues due to mobilization. The Russian oil and gas industry is facing a shortage of labor due to the mobilization of soldiers for the war against Ukraine, reports Bloomberg. Recent reports from the Central Bank of Russia indicate that the labor shortage is currently affecting enterprises in all sectors of the economy. According to the material, the oil and gas sector of Russia lacks about 40,000 employees this year. The industry increased the number of online job postings in the first quarter by 24% compared to the previous year, seeking not only skilled personnel but also low-skilled workers. A representative of a Russian job search service informed the source that the labor shortage has affected even affluent sectors, referring to the oil and gas sector of the Russian Federation. He specified that companies offer high salaries to job seekers, but they compete with the state which attracts people to the military service. People are also lured by high salaries to defense plants of the Russian defense corporation Rostec which raised wages by over 17%. Bloomberg reports that another consequence of Russia's aggression against Ukraine has been the restriction of foreign labor influx. International sanctions have weakened the ruble, boosted inflation and complicated international money transfers, making Russia less attractive for migrants from ex-Soviet countries, the material states. Last year, the official net inflow of foreign migrants to the country amounted to nearly 110,000 individuals, only a quarter of the 2021 level. Immediately following the invasion of Ukraine, the Russian oil and gas sector became a target of international sanctions aimed at reducing the Kremlin's revenues. However, the industry continues to operate, providing Russia with funds necessary to send soldiers to the front lines and purchase weaponry for shelling Ukrainian cities. The labor shortages raise questions about whether Russia's oil and gas industry can sustain this performance in the longer term, Bloomberg added. The Kremlin is constantly exploring new opportunities to recruit individuals to send to war against Ukraine. Despite Vladimir Putin's announcement of partial mobilization in September 2022 and his claim that it was supposedly concluded, many media outlets and Ukrainian intelligence report that this process continues covertly. Recently, President Volodymyr Zelensky announced that the Russian Federation plans to mobilize an additional 300,000 servicemen by June the 1st. Ukraine has revealed details about the Russian army's high-speed boat destroyed in Crimea waters on Monday. The Ukrainian Special Service Agency identified the destroyed boat as the high-speed boat of the Mongoose series of Project 12150, stressing that the boat has been fully destroyed and cannot be restored. Produced in the 2000s, the boat was quite new and in a good condition prior to its destruction. Ukrainian scouts in Crimea destroyed the Russian high-speed boat of the Mongoose project on the night leading to May 6. The boat was shot by a Magura V-5 Marine drone in Azkaya Bay during the operation conducted by the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. Information about the destruction of the boat and images of the operation were released by main intelligence directorate. The high-speed boat was used by the Russian fleet and special services as multi-purpose high-speed vessel. The Mongoose is designed for patrolling water areas, fighting saboteurs, and also for rescue operations. Its maximum speed is up to 98 km per hour, and its modified version is equipped with a 14.5mm combat machine gun module. On board are AGS-17 automatic grenade launchers, a DP-64 handheld grenade launcher and two IGLA or IVA-type man pads. The boat reaches up to 20m in length and up to 5 meters in width. Maximum speed is up to 50 knots. The estimated cost of the destroyed mongoose is about $3 million. It should be noted that although Russia confirmed the attack on the boats by naval drones, Kremlin reported that five drones were shot down and did not hit their targets. Biden may withdraw from U.S. presidential election. This summer, Joe Biden may refuse to participate in the presidential election and propose the candidacy of Michelle Obama, the wife of former U.S. President Barack Obama. This is reported by the German edition of Der Spiegel. The Democratic Party of the U.S. does not exclude that Biden may announce such a decision by August 2024 at the party convention in Chicago. Der Spiegel noted that Democrats even included Michelle Obama in their public 
opinion polls regarding potential candidates. Many Americans dream of a woman president, De Spiegel writes. According to journalists, the reason is Biden's advanced age. Two-thirds of Americans consider him too old to lead the country for another four years. At the same time, many Americans are not very eager for Donald Trump to win the election, whose age is not much younger than the current head of state. Also playing a role is the large number of cases currently being considered in courts against the politician. Biden, who will turn 82 years old just weeks after Election Day, November the 5th, is already the oldest president in US history. Trump is 77. Privately, Democratic operatives close to the campaign worry constantly about Biden's health and voters' dim perceptions of it. In recent weeks, aides have begun walking at Biden's side as he strolls to and from Marie Marine One, the presidential helicopter, on the White House South Lawn in an apparent effort to help mask the president's stiff gait. Still, neither party is making serious contingency plans. Whether voters want to believe it or not, the general election matchup is all but set. The presidential election in the US is scheduled for November the 5th, 2024. The favorites in this year's race from the Democrats are the incumbent President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. Recently, the auditor of the Trump media company was accused of fraud and deceiving clients through violations of current legislation.